Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is obviously a very important video for fairly obvious reasons, as you can see from the image, but I will explain the situation. When I woke up this morning and checked out my Gmail account, I saw the following message, and I will read the message. It's obvious. You can see it, and I will proceed to explain my understanding of the circumstances and some other things. Hi, Thinking Ape. During a recent review, our team of policy specialists carefully looked over the videos you've uploaded to your channel, Thinking Ape, and found that they are not in line with our YouTube partner program policies. As of today, your channel is not eligible to monetize, and you will not have access to monetization tools and features. Please go to your monetization page to read more about the specific policy our specialists flagged. We have a responsibility to ensure our community is safe for creators, viewers, and advertisers, which means sometimes making difficult decisions like this one. At the same time, we understand that everyone makes mistakes. That's why you'll be able to reapply for the YouTube Partner Program in 30 days. If you make changes to your channel, you may be able to get your monetization features back. Now, before I go into some other things, I want to point out that they did not make clear what the violation is. It might have something to do with quote-unquote reuse content. It might not. And because they didn't specify what crime I committed against their policies, I don't know how to fix the mistakes I made. I literally don't have a clue. They don't tell me in the specifics. They say go to the monetization feature. They don't tell me what I did wrong exactly. So actually, my only option is to pray to the gods and try again at the end of this month, in the end of November, or the beginning of December, however that works, to apply for monetization again. Now, I've been a YouTube partner for eons, so why out of the blue now? I truly don't know. Unless there's some bot program, which seems highly suspect, that just randomly hits things. I have a tiny channel. I have about 41,000 subs. Okay relatively tiny compared to some of the giants. It may be because of quote-unquote reuse content. It may be because of politically incorrect content. It may be because of, as they put it, reuse content, which is part of the policies that has politically incorrect connotations, or somebody directed them to, towards it, which is my suspicion. There are a lot of people who don't like me, so it's entirely possible for reasons of grudges or dislike or distaste Someone directed these powers that be, these uh, specialists, policy specialists, t uh, towards me uh, to nail me for cosmetic or superficial reasons. I don't know. They don't tell me. It's like uh, telling a child, Timmy, you've committed a horrible error. What did I do wrong? I don't know. You were just walking. You were moving. Okay, how should I move? It doesn't matter. You were moving. So I should never move? I mean, I'm not in the clearest uh, headspace to quote the Quarry King right now, and I didn't sleep a lot, as is custom. But you get my my point, right? Uh, you know, if someone says it's something as vague as you were moving, and they say, well, what, what can I do to improve my movement? And they, they just say, oh, nothing. I, I don't know. So I literally have no idea what I did wrong. Not a, They don't won't tell me. And I was talking to a, a friend and confidant who knows quite a bit about a YouTube about this uh, earlier. And the, the interesting thing is that I've had videos flagged before. They actually tell you what you do wrong in the flag videos. They say it's because of this. It's because of copyright. It's because of free you know, speech violation. They don't tell you this time. They, your, your, your channel's demonetized. I can't all... The thing about demonetization here as well is that it's retroactively demonetized. So, you know, not just current things, but in the past. Now, as far as I know, ads still run, but I think the, the ad revenue is directed to YouTube and the advertisers, so I don't get a, a cut of it. I think that's how it works now. So ads on videos will no longer appear, presumably, or if they do, they'll be, the AdSense will be redirected to uh, not me. So, yeah, I can apply, you know, reapply, appeal after a month. But according to my friend and confidant, who knows quite a bit about a YouTube and a few other channels who've been hit by this, this is not a mass incident, which is why you're not hearing about this. 
basically, it's GG. I don't think I'm going to get monetization back. Uh, to the extent that I do, it's always, you know, it'll be on the fritz. Um, the safest assumption is that my channel will not be remonetized. Uh, if it is, I'll let you know. Even so, it's clearly not a stable situation, as is proven here by the evidence. Well, as for me, there are several things I need to undertake. I've had the unfortunate situation the last couple of months of having necessary expenses that were beyond my control. But there are things I can do. I'm generally a frugal person, but I've never been utterly frugal to the point where I'm pinching pennies and counting pennies. That's something I need to do from now on. That's something I need to do because my rent just disappeared. So I will, I will pinch pennies because that's necessary. I will buy the absolute cheapest food within limits. I'm not going to poison myself with processed food, but, you know, and... Uh, I, I do have a few other sources of income, but YouTube, by and large, is my primary. It is. It's my primary source of income. Now, this is, of course, where Patreons and donations come in. I'll state it frankly. I don't like stating these things, but now more than ever, the channel's existence and my livelihood is dependent on, on patrons and donations, one-off or otherwise, on PayPal. That's just a fact. There's no longer any ad revenue to, to buttress or bolster anything. Not that I made tons of ad revenue, but it covered the rent, which, is, of course, is an important feature. I'm going to be trying to downsize my life to the absolute minimal from now on and go to, like, the, the cheapest supermarket absolutely possible, looking for the cheapest stuff that is healthy, that remains healthy, rather, and there aren't a lot of options, really, um, beyond doing that. So my appeal to you, as much as you're generous and you think I'm, I warrant it, and that's in your estimation, not mine, if you want to support the channel or you've not done so, uh, please, I'll be posting a link to my Patreon. It's there, Stardust the Thinking Ape. And the PayPal link will be there as well. And yeah, if you want to and can, don't ever damage yourself to help other people. Then to say that it would be appreciated would be a gross understatement. It would be more than appreciated. All the people that have helped me out and supported me throughout the years, really, I can't really... Um, can't really do words to uh, justify how much I appreciate all of you as, 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 as people, as generous people. Uh, even if I've never exchanged words with you, you know, I, I make note, see the people, and uh, yeah, it's all I can say is thank you. You know, it's, words are cheap, I guess, sometimes, but that's all I can do, actually. Now, there may be some minimal changes I can make to the channel that may be. And I say maybe because, again, they didn't tell me what I did wrong exactly. That might help. So the images I use, from now on, I will use my own personal image, which I've used on occasion, which is Stardust the Thinking Ape. It's my own image. I own it. I have the copyright, which will, of course, be a bit boring. On the other hand, traditionally my videos have been essentially like radio. You know, occasionally there's there's something else apart from still images, but it's basically like radio, uh, whatever. That is something I can attempt. That henceforth, for the foreseeable future, I will my videos will be inscribed by the Stardust Thinking Ape insignia. That will be the go-to thing. That's something that can be done. But again, in as much as it has something to do with quote unquote reuse content or some other violation, such as, you know, community guidelines, they just don't like the things I say, it's entirely unclear to me. And they don't tell me. They don't tell me at all. They don't tell me anything. They just say, if you make the changes, 
right? If you make change, what changes? Timmy, if you move in a different way, Timmy asks, how should I move? I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I, yeah. So there's not much else to say. The channel has likely been permanently demonetized. I suppose that was always a risk, but I wonder why I am one of the few people with alternate opinions or views, which I don't think are very radical, but hey, that have been, uh, that have been hit like this. It's, um, it is what it is. I don't know the motivation behind it as a bunch of bots or actually policy specialists. Who knows? Uh, also, on a semi-final note, uh, sorry, I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. The trusted flagger guy, he's disappeared for some reason. He's not been found for months, apparently. I know this from semi-inside sources. So whatever allies people had, whatever you know, whatever people might have been able to help on the inside, the last resistance cells, <laughs> they're gone. Is it GG for thinking ape? Not yet. I uh Yeah, I vowed when all this nonsense started that I would go down with a ship. Not just because this is my livelihood, but also on principle. It's important for people to be able to express their views. I mean, I know the you know the free speech, blah yada, yada, but it is. It's important for people to be able to express their views and say what they want to say. And I don't ultimately know the value of my content, but there are some people that find it valuable. And they tell me I've helped them. I don't know how, but that's what they tell me. So maybe I've done something good. I don't know. Anyway, a final call to arms. Uh, you know, if you can and you're willing, consider Patreon or PayPal. It would be greatly, well, again, I don't have words. It would be more than appreciated, significantly more. Um, because as of now, uh, Thinking Ape is no longer uh, a, a channel that is monetized. Maybe it will be remonetized, but I doubt it. I think given the trajectory of things, it's only reasonable to assume worst-case scenarios when it comes to these things. So that's, that's what I'm doing. And I, for my part, will cut costs as much as possible. You know, I'm going to go from being reasonably frugal to ultra, ultra, absolutely frugal about every purchase I make because it's necessary because I just lost my rent. And I can still make rent, I think, if I do that. So anyway, it's, uh, I don't really have anything else to say about this. There should be content today or tomorrow. I had some interesting ideas as a follow-up to the Roaming uh, Millennial video, though not really specifically about here, but more about insults or what have you. And uh, you know, for everyone who's been there with me, whether you've donated or not, appreciates my content, Thanks uh, for sticking with me throughout the years. You know, I don't know how long I'll be around, you know, physically, whether I die or not, or, or even on YouTube, but uh, it's much appreciated. When I first got started on YouTube, I never thought it, uh, you know, it, it was, I never had anything like this in mind. It just kind of fell into it. But anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate it, uh, everything you've done for me. And I hope, I don't know if I have done, but I hope I've done something for you too. Let me take care, and as usual, if I'm still alive, there'll be more content to come.